This month we're looking at one of the more beloved and unique games around, Betrayal at House on the Hill. Betrayal really is its own mix of horror, theme, exploration, minis, semi-cooperative mechanics, and story, which has made it one of the most difficult lists to come up with. But if you break down the game and look at its parts, you can find games that stitch together similar pieces. So whether you like Betrayal because of its role-playing elements, or you like its semi-co-op nature, we found five games that can, you can pull out with confidence among any fans of this Halloween classic. The newcomer on this list, Mythos Tales is a great game for gamers that like story and mystery driven adventure games. This co-op game is based off of the cult hit Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective and uses the same mechanics in which players move from location to location, gathering clues and questioning people associated with devilish crimes that may hint at something more sinister under the surface. It's up to players to decide which leads to follow, who to question next, and when they have gathered enough evidence to answer the questions pertinent to the case. Mythos Tales allows players to create a unique story together by taking on the role of an investigator and diving further into the world of horrors within the game. Like the idea of your game taking place in a creepy old haunted mansion filled with ghosts and ghouls from who knows where? Then Mysterium is probably right up your alley. With a similar setting and asymmetrical play, gamers familiar with Betrayal should find themselves right at home with this cafe favorite. In Mysterium, most of the players will take on the roles of psychic investigators, trying to solve a recent murder at a haunted house. One of the players will take on the role of a ghost, who will use cards that seem to come straight out of Dixit to give each investigator a vision that will point them to the path they need to be on. However, the investigators must watch the clock as you have only seven hours, or turns, to find the person, place, and murder weapon that your ghost is pointing them to. Can your group get on the same page before it's too late? If what you really love about Betrayal are the minis, B-movie plots, and RPG light feel, then our third item on this list should be tailor-made for you. Last Night on Earth combines all of the aforementioned parts and mixes them into one of the most popular zombie games around. In Last Night, players will either take control of survivors or zombies, with the survivors having their own character card outlining their stats and other strengths and weaknesses. Each game, the players pe uh, playing the survivors will have to fulfill the win conditions of whichever scenario the group chooses to play, all of which are based off of classic zombie movie tropes. While the other players are controlling the zombies, must eat everyone's brains to win. Can survivors find the keys and the gas to the truck before daybreak, or save enough townsfolk before time runs out? You gotta play to find out. Our next entry checks a lot of the same boxes that Betrayal does, but really it's the feel of City of Horror that is so close to that of Betrayal. You want a game where you take on the role of someone in a classic horror movie? Want a game that pushes you and the rest of the players to really put yourself in the shoes of that character? Then it sounds like City of Horror is just for you. In this title, you'll be taking on the role of various characters stuck in the zombie apocalypse, trying to protect yourself before the helicopter comes to pick you up. You'll have to earn resources, protect yourself from zombies, and maybe even vote on who gets eaten to survive. But make sure you have an antidote for every character you want saved at the end. They certainly aren't letting any infected on that chopper. The first game that popped into many of my coworkers' minds when I asked for help on this list was Dead of Winter. But just to mix things up a little bit, I'm going with Dead of Winter The Long Night. The latest expansion for one of the most popular zombie games around adds special zombies with special abilities, bandit survivors, and other tweaks to the formula that keeps what's really at the heart of Dead of Winter. The unknown fact that you may actually be fighting your other survivors more than the zombies. This sense of not knowing who to trust mixed with the stress of the scenarios the game throws at you gives you that gamer anxiety that is central to the Dead of Winter experience. And if that doesn't sound like fun to you, well then, you must not like Betrayal at House on the Hill very much either. Well, that's it for our list and our video. Don't forget to leave us any questions, omissions, or grievances in the comments below, or you're welcome to come down to the cafe and argue with us in person or try any of these great games. And if you really liked our video, don't forget to hit like or subscribe. Thanks for watching, and as always, game on.